welcome to another session of Let's Get Real with Mona. That's me, Mona Naidu. I'm an abundant living coach, um, human behavior specialist, woman's empowerment mentor, international and inspirational speaker and a philanthropist. And in these sessions, I share with you, well, tools, techniques, wisdom on how to turn your dream into reality. So welcome and thank you for joining me today. So, well, what I wanted to say was ho ho ho, because we are in that month, the last month of 2022. Can you believe it? I mean, like, where has the year gone to? And I'm sure if you're like me, lots of things came up this year and they're still coming up for us to shift, to move out, to release, to let go. So I just want you to know that if that's been happening in your life, well, that's good. And I'm not saying this to upset you or make you feel any worse than you are. Things come up, things really challenge us when it's ready to be transmuted. And when we can understand this, then we can allow it to move through our space with ease and grace. Like I said, it's ho, ho, ho. It's that time of the year. It's, well, a time to be jolly. And I guess it's because it's the season of merriment, right? It's a season of merriment and celebrations. And whether we celebrate Christmas or not, or whether we celebrate any festivities in this month, it's just like the whole world is in that space of celebrations, right? So right now, what is it? What is it that comes to your mind when you hear the word celebration? Now, for some people, some have shared that it means special occasions. What I found is that it's generally an acknowledgement of an achievement, of a milestone, an event. Um, it could be a cultural or religious festival. Now, here's what we are actually talking about. You know, like these are some of the things that you have celebrations for in, you know, uh, the simple terms that you and I know it as. It's for birthdays, anniversaries, uh, a promotion, a farewell. It could be for national holidays, international holidays. It could be for festivals like Diwali. Um, it could be for Thanksgiving, Halloween. And like we know, this month's all about Christmas. And then immediately after that, it's New Year. It could be for, you know, a housewarming, um, a wedding, an engagement, a baby shower, a bridal shower, a christening. Now, I'm sure you realize that there could be anything that we could be celebrating about. There's just so much things and so many uh, um, events to celebrate. And I'm sure that you could share with me a few others that I've not mentioned. Now, for me, celebration conjures up the images of fun, merriment, joy, connection, laughter, delicious food, dance, and music, right? We celebrate to acknowledge something important in our life. It can be for an individual. It can be for a community. It can be a nation celebrating something. When you think about national holidays, it can be for humanity. And we share that special moment or event with the people that we care about and love. Celebrations bring people together in love, unity, harmony, and peace. Now, what I've also found is that celebrations help to bring people together and deepen bonds. You see, families and friends come together. Distant relatives are reacquainted. Strangers become friends. Who 
knows what I'm talking about because I mean, Viz and I have been to so many functions recently and you know, we've left with more friends than when we arrived there. We've made beautiful acquaintances, met beautiful people, danced with amazing people. There was just merriment and we were so fortunate that we've got, had the opportunity quite regularly in the past couple of weeks to do that. Whether it was meals with friends at a restaurant or huge events, fundraising events, um, celebrating anniversaries of organizations or a birthday party. Just so much of merriment and I'm truly blessed that I got to experience that in the last couple of months. Did you get a chance to have some kind of celebration over the past couple of months, past couple of weeks? Whether it's a year-end function at your workplace, oh, we should include that on our list as well. So you may be wondering, what does this have to do with abundance? You know, we're talking about celebration here. Well, it has everything to do with abundance. Now just think about this, right? What I teach about is the alchemy of abundance. And what is alchemy? Alchemy is all about turning lead into gold in its simplest explanation. So what are these sessions about? Helping you and inspiring you to turn your dreams into reality. And the frequency is all about abundance because turning our dreams into reality is about aligning to our abundance and then realizing our dreams. Right? So, as I said, for those of you who are asking, well, what does this celebration have to do with abundance? Now, abundance is a frequency first before it materializes into the physical realm into its physical form, right? It's a frequency first. Now celebration is a frequency of abundance. So if you want to experience your abundance in this physical 3D realm, then celebration is one of the ways that you can do that. Because remember, there's so many different ways to align to our abundance. And some of them we participate in, but we may not even understand how it influences our alignment and the flow of our abundance. Okay, so I have found that many people misunderstand the whole concept of celebration. And at this juncture, I would like to share that celebration is nothing to do with drinking too much or eating too much, or spending too much. Beware, that's a scarcity mentality. It's actually the scarcity trap. Because if this is a season and the common excuse that's gonna be used is, oh, I'm eating too much, or I'm drinking too much, or it's there and I've got to do that. What's actually gonna happen is your vibration's gonna drop and where do you think you're going to be sitting and hanging out in? Not in the abundance frequency, but in the scarcity and lack of frequency. So just be aware of that. Okay. Now I love this quote by Terence E. Deal. Deal spelled D-E-A-L. He says that celebrations infuse life with passion and purpose. They summon the human spirit. I mean, just feel that, right? It infuses life with passion and purpose. Now, just think about it. When you are at a celebration and there's dance and music and merriment and laughter, what happens? Whoa! I mean, I come alive. How about you? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You know, there's also functions or events or special occasions that we've attended and before we got there, well, maybe we weren't feeling very good. Maybe we got angry at someone for showing up late from work or delaying you or you got delayed at work. So there may have been a bit of, 
you know, disharmony or discord before you went to your event. And what happens as soon as you get there? You know that it may take a few minutes, but when you're in a space where people are laughing, people are happy, people are rejoicing, well, it's infectious, right? And this is why celebration is so important because celebration is infectious. Now, instead of having other things spreading around, why not spread this infectious uh, frequency of celebration, of merriment, of fun, of joy, of laughter? Right? Now, we cannot be gloomy. We cannot be down. We cannot be depressed in a space where there's a celebration going on. It's just not the space that that can be contained in. And you'll find that if it's a merry place, someone that doesn't fit in with that space will run away. And then, well, that's their choice. Right? For me, I see celebration as something sacred. You see, I understand the gifts that it holds to all who are part of it. I understand how the frequency of the place changes into a high vibe place. I understand how it brings and spreads light into the world. Now, fun, merriment, laughter and joy are all high vibe frequencies. And this is what aligns us to our abundance. This is what aligns you to your abundance. Now, more than ever, merriment and fun is required. This year has been challenging for almost all of us in some way or the other. Something came up, something stirred at our heartstrings, something made us uncomfortable, something made us fearful. And until we choose to shift that, and celebration is one of the most powerful ways to do that, and like I said, this month, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. It doesn't matter what your cultural, religious beliefs are. We all get to tap into the frequency of celebration. Okay. And this month, December, it signals the end of a period. And it heralds the beginning of a new one. So we are at the end of something and we're moving into something new. And celebration is so beautiful that we can be grateful for what was and welcome what is awaiting us. This time of year of celebration, it's a time of generosity. It's a time of peace, happiness and love. It is the season of giving. Now, celebration allows us to appreciate our good fortune and to share that frequency of abundance with others. Just think about that. It allows us to appreciate our good fortune and then to share that with others. Now, what's even more powerful is when you can rejoice because that's what celebrations are about it's about rejoicing in someone else's fortune whatever that fortune means for them whatever that achievement whatever that milestone is if you really want to catapult the next level of your abundance rejoice in others fortune their good flow, their abundance. And please, another word of caution. Don't do it in order to get something. Don't do it because you want a result. Do it because you truly are coming from that heart expanded space, that expanded heart. The place where being happy for someone else and celebrating their successes becomes a way of life, comes naturally. Because when we are able to do that, well, what do you think happens? Right? 
What do you think happens? You're standing there rejoicing someone else. The abundance in the universe, your abundance, can only come closer to you. It can come to you. It flows to you. It shows up for you. We just have to be aware how it's all unfolding around us. Now, celebration is a way to express our gratitude for the gift of life. Celebration is an acknowledgement of who we were, who we are, and who we are becoming. So, will you allow this month of merriment to shift your frequency and align you to your abundance, the next level of your abundance? We are here to experience the beauty of life. We are here to experience good fortune. We are here to experience love in every form that it can be expressed. But until you allow it, until you make space for it, until you experience, allow yourself to experience life in the most magical way, those doors remain closed. So if you are willing to allow yourself to allow this magical frequency of celebration, because even though you may not be doing something specific, the frequency is all around you. You may hear your neighbors celebrating. You may be in an office building where, you know, other tenants in the building are celebrating the year end or their good fortune. You may be seeing something on Facebook that someone is celebrating. Celebrate with them because it doesn't matter what it is for. Every time we can rejoice in someone else's good fortune, we not only send more high vibes to that person, we allow ourselves to bathe in the high vibes. Now here's the thing, living an abundant life is about living consciously, knowing that everything is connected. And when you are conscious about your actions, that's when miracles unfold in your life. So that's a wrap from me for today. And I'd love to know, how do you experience celebration? Right? What does it mean for you? What resonated with you today? Because if there's one thing you could take from today, is celebrate others. Rejoice in the good fortune of others. Celebrate with whatever's going on around you and with whomever is around you. Because truly, this is a time for miracles. It's the time for magical unfolding in our lives and for all of us on this planet. And I know that you're ready for it. So I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what resonated with you. And I'd love to hear what your takeaways are from today. So until next time, ho, ho, ho. Merriment, jolly times for all of us. Until next time, ciao for now.